Virgos. Hey, my love, love, lovies. What is going on, guys? Welcome to your daily reading. It is your girl, Empress Meek, and I am here to shine some light on your path, sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. Thank you guys for being here with me, and I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're not having your best day, allow me to shine my love and light and help you make your situation a whole lot better and remind you of how amazing you are and that you got this, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. I do have a channel message for you. All right, and how are you doing? Talk to me in the comments, guys. King and Queen of Coins, let me know how you're feeling. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Sessions and Spirit, guys, thank you so much for blocking and bonding on negative energy, giving me clear and concise messages for my Virgo love. All Virgo placements are welcome here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you for victory in every situation we may face, abundance and overflow, and helping somebody less fortunate. Amen. All right, guys, let's dive in. So, Virgo, you got somebody coming towards you. Now, we're about to dive into this energy and find out how you're feeling and how this person and situation makes you feel. Because this person is coming towards you. You don't see this person the same any longer. And they definitely have some type of hidden agenda. I do not like this energy. And I can't wait to tap in so you can actually see exactly what this person's plan is. Okay? So we're about to take a look and see exactly what this person's plan is. Um, this is the oracle portion of your tarot reading. We're going to go ahead and start with how this person and situation makes you feel. So we can work through these feelings together and heal. Okay? And be able to close the door on this person face when they come towards you all right this may not resonate with everybody so if it doesn't resonate guys just take whatever does it's something in each one of my videos that will help you heal um and motivate you to go to the next level okay so just hang on for the ride and take whatever resonates with you okay let's see holy spirit holy angels ancestors and spirit guys how is my Virgo feeling about this person coming toward them? What is it that we need to know today about Virgo? How can we help Virgo through this situation? First card, burned. It says you've been hurt before, so it's hard for you to trust and let someone in and love again. And we all have been there, Virgo. I feel like this person that's coming towards you has a lot to do with that. It's like they only added fuel to the fire to be honest with you this is someone who hid their feelings this is somebody who definitely was dishonest um and i feel like this is somebody who you lost respect for you definitely have a lack of respect for this person and so i do see that here because you don't see this person the same and you're no longer in love with them or having these overwhelming feelings of attraction and being so welcoming to this person they're coming back to like prove a point or something like that it's just like you know how somebody is not finished with you yet and they'll say oh i'm not finished with you yet that's the energy that i feel from this person so let's see what else is going on here and how this person has you triggered or feeling so you can just know what you're dealing with so this is somebody that neglected you it made you feel very neglected they neglected this relationship and they also neglected to keep their end of the bargain um not paying attention to what's important so this could have a lot to do with how this person treated you all right the side was truly worth spending time on this is what spirit wants you to do so it's important that you make the decision um surrounding what's important like putting your priorities first is what i'm getting all right because not all these people are worth your time virgo and i feel like the more you overextend yourself the more you get burned so this is definitely a message helping you avoid these karmics and these energies that really don't appreciate you okay um for some of you guys you could be feeling kind of stuck to this person because of their lies and the web that they weaved and got you all entangled in their bull crap okay and it's like it's hard for you some of you guys to say no to this person um this is saying tangled unable to free yourself from a sticky situation taking a step back really will help you see this person clearly and understand their game okay so you may need to just take your step back away from this person and situation when they do come towards you some of you guys have not cut this person off and they're still very much in your energy and i feel like because you understand this person's madness for somebody here you're still tolerating this but it's easier for you to just let go and it cuts you off from suffering from their karma 
okay? I feel like your guys and ancestors are all around you, ready to avenge this person, but I just feel like it's all up to you. You have to give them the okay. You have to give them the sign that it's over for good, okay? Ending. So for you, a lot of you could feel like you're pretending that it's not ending, but it's really time to let go and make a fresh start. So some of you need to really acknowledge the fact like this relationship is over. For some of you, it could be somebody who you're very much attached to at this moment with this Tangled card. So you could feel like now you're tangled together in finances or something here that you're connected to this person with. Um, and it could even be sex, love, or lust, or whatever. But it's something here that you're not fully letting go of. And it's time to really let it burn. Like, let it go, okay? <laughs> um, I just feel like, yeah, that Usher song, Let It Burn, is just time. Like, it's really time to let it go, okay? Let's see. Flighty. Yeah, this person, and I feel this about this person. They have very flighty energy, like in and out energy, very sometimey, and making you feel very nervous or what is this, anxious and very unsure. You know, it's like they almost make you second guess yourself. This says not knowing what they're going to do causes you anxiety. Finding love that, um, find a love that you can count on. Yeah, and with this bird flying, this this geese, goose, it's like they fly in and out whenever they want to. You know, they could be flocking around with their friends and doing this, going here, there, and everywhere. It's just like very in and out, very flighty energy, all right? And somebody is extremely childish. It says someone has to be the adult in the room. Maybe the terms should be grow up or get out. So your God spirit is telling you that it's time for you to set some firmer boundaries. And it's time for you to let this person know exactly what to do and how to get there, where to go, you know, set the tone and set the rules, like put this person in their place. This is what your guys want you to do. And you put your situation in perspective where you're putting your priorities first. Okay. So that's what they're instructing you to do here because you have needs. It says if emotional needs aren't being met, it's time to reassess. Touch is important too. So it's like this person isn't really even here to comfort you. Maybe at night you're sleeping alone. You have to worry about when this person is coming back and all this stuff. Like it's like this person is putting their life first, but you're not putting your needs first. It's like they're flock, flocking away and flying off and doing whatever. And you just feel more and more burned and neglected. So it's very triggering for you, whoever this is that's coming back towards you, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the feelings around this situation because I do see this person coming in towards you. They're going to come back. It's like they're not leaving for good. They're going to keep coming back until you actually say that it's over. But you see a difference in this situation. You know that this situation is changing. For some of you guys, this could be your love, your lover, your person that you're in a situation with or a relationship that is fizzling out. But whatever this is, this could even be somebody that you're co-parenting with and still have love for, but you know that this is over. Somebody here is refusing to look at this situation like it's over. It's like you're looking at this situation like because you have a responsibility for some of you who are actually financially invested in this situation where you have your financial obligation to this part, this family or this person. Um, it's like, you don't need to use that as a crutch. Just like how people say, well, I got my child there. And then they just stop living their life and let this person run them, run all over top of them. That's crazy. Like, no, that's not showing the universe that you love and appreciate yourself. And it definitely doesn't open you up for the next blessing. So let's go ahead and see what else comes out. Show me the feelings surrounding this situation for my Virgo loveys, please, sir. Show me the, the energy surrounding this situation for my Virgo loves. Show me clear messages. Yeah, I see regret and attraction, stability here. So I feel like you regret this because this situation here is lacking stability. Even though it's still fiery hot attraction here between you two. So it could be still some type of lovemaking or whatever this is that you guys do for each other. But there is no stability. There's nothing solid that could really feed you that you could rely on or trust in for some of you guys you have a family or you're spying on this person and they have a family situation going on 
okay it's something here right and this is why you feel burned mm. this is what i'm talking about this person has their own hidden agenda they don't if they're telling you that they're leaving this family no they're not if they tell you that they're getting a divorce they are not about to get a divorce and get right back in a relationship. I just don't see them doing it. I see them lying to you. And I see them constantly, like every time, it's like they string another strand of web around you. You see all of these lies and games and they just keep doing it and doing it. This is sex. This is conversations. This is just time spent together that's just keeping you connected and trapped in this. All right. This is asking you to do stuff and invest financially and Different things like that where they know you're not going to be so easy to walk away, right? Hmm. This person is lying about something. Somebody is definitely hiding the truth, all right? And everything they express to you is a lie here. And this is what's making it so neglectful. And this tower, whether you like it or not, the, the divine is stepping in. This tower is going to fall one way or the other or it already has for somebody, just take it how it resonates, guys. Everybody's on a different part of their journey with this situation. Some of you could have already made it through, okay? But this is, this person is just, pay close attention to everything that's unfolding here. And this will help you not ever have to repeat this cycle again, okay? But this tower is about to fall down. And this is divine intervention because this situation needs to be stopped. Somebody here is taking advantage of you and this is their plan. Like they're coming back for more and they're really in this energy of I'm not finished with you yet. It's a need for you to tap into your higher frequency, your highest frequency. This here, this situation, because a lot of times all these lessons are doing is growing us and elevating us to the higher parts of ourself, like your higher self. This is actually going to teach you a lesson that's going to, it's going to rock your foundation to the point where you're not going to deal with this kind of crap anymore. All right. It's going to hurt. Like it's already hurt, hurtful, especially all the nights that you have to spend alone and how you're extending yourself and giving to this person and you can't even get the love and support that you need. Yeah, this is not going to fly. Okay. This is not going to fly. Um, But I see this person here. They are coming back. Making you feel stuck to them. Here you are feeling guarded because you already know that this does not feel like a healthy situation. And for somebody, you feel very confused about it. And you're not really telling people that you're still indulging in this. But God sees it. You're about to go through this tower moment where this person is really literally getting out of your life for good. They're in the way. You keep asking the universe to do things and to bring things into fruition and all these other things. And this person is stopping it. So, yeah, it's this is about to be over. All right. It's a lot of confusion here about what to expect, about where you're going, about what to do next. And it's just not sitting well with the divine. They're just like, no, this has to be put to a stop. It's like, I thought Virgo was going to move. And some of you did move, but you still have yet to fully end it so the universe can react to that. All right? So just take it how it resonates, guys. Some of you guys have. But it's time for you to manifest. It's time for you to set your intentions on things that are going to benefit you and help you grow and elevate, okay? All right? It's love myself time. Put me first time. All right? That's what they're telling me, Okay? Look at this. They're like, we're right here with you. We're going to help you through this. You're never alone. You're not going to be alone. Just go ahead and end it for good. All right. Some of you guys are attached. You feel like this could be your soulmate or your twin flame. I do feel that energy and it keeps you in your head a lot. And this is what keeps you stuck as well. Because sometimes our mind, it's the enemy's workshop, especially if you allow it. Okay. But yeah, some of you guys are isolating yourself. Maybe you put a put a space in between you and this person, took a break from them or something like that. Open to receive. So maybe this person is trying to figure out ways to get you to be open to them. I told you they're coming towards you with their own personal agenda. And the agenda is to keep you stuck. It's to keep you desiring them and wanting them, needing them. They also disappear sometimes so you can want them more. And it's just, it needs to stop. Like, it's just a sick effect, um, sick obsession. Yeah. 
and you got separation and longing and sometimes this is your energy longing for this person because everything between you guys isn't always good but somebody here definitely has a family all right and it's just making you feel worse it's making you feel more guarded more confused and more burned all right somebody is very immature they only care about themselves with this flighty energy yeah cycles ending completion it's time to end this for good and stop this person from playing games with you and trying to burn you or whatever else they're doing for some of them they're using a child as an excuse or maybe you guys just aren't ready to let this person go and see somebody else with them but it's definitely time to do that use your intuition it's time for you to see this person for who they are all they're really offering you is sex and it's just not enough it's not enough some of them, they could have been planting new seeds with somebody since the spring. For some of you guys, you planted seeds with this person in the springtime. Some of you got pregnant by this person. Lord have mercy. Okay, but they're coming. Hold on, let me get those cards. Yeah, it's time for you to realize. Look what fell on the floor. Realizing that they're just trying to control you and you're clinging to your comfort zone here. Yep, the divine is definitely opening your eyes to this. Okay, so let's get the tarot, see what the tarot cards want to tell you about this situation and how you should be moving forward. But I see them longing, wanting you, taking action towards you and you're guarded because of the confusion. But I see this lie here in this divine intervention, the storm coming. Because something just is not right, okay? So I see that coming towards you. So let me get the tarot cards and let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about this energy. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guys, thank you for clarity for Virgo. Clarify this message for us and show Virgo exactly what they need to know. And what's the advice? All right, so for spine, family, and being burned. Shining the light on a snake. Realizing that this person really only cares about the family that they have. They're offering you friends with benefits and nothing more. For some of you guys, you're realizing that they said that they left somebody, but they didn't. Whatever this is, it's like teamwork. They're trying to get you to work with something. And you definitely see this here. And you're tired of it. You're like, you know what? I realize that you're a liar. It's like you gave this person the benefit of the doubt. Some of you guys went investigating. You went online. You did your research. And you found out that you were right. Now, because this person masked the truth and they're going to come back towards you, offering you something. I told you, here it is, the three of pentacles right here. They're going to come back towards you, offering you something. And you're shining a light on this snake here. The snake is the three of pentacles. Show me one more on the hermit and the fact that this person only wants emotional fulfillment. And there are two, if this is a male, there are two ladies. Show me the unexpected storm, the tower moment and the truth being exposed yeah holding on to people from the past for some of you guys it could be another earth sign king of pentacles but somebody here is holding on to people from the past somebody could be confessing that they hid the truth from you and they're still holding on to you this could be somebody from the past judgment somebody made a judgment on somebody here this is neglectful so somebody is very stressed out here very stressed out and sad about a situation they feel like somebody lied to them and held back the truth and they neglected them somebody feels like they neglected to tell them everything they needed to know they neglected to love them they neglected to be honorable somebody could not trust somebody here and as much as somebody wants to take action or wants to be open to this person you just can't because they didn't tell you the truth they lied show me none swords why is somebody all in their head somebody's Somebody wants to take action. See, they're going to take action. For some of my Virgos here, I see Virgo here thinking about it. Like, I really want to go toward this person, but they lied. It's no room for me in their life. They'll never be able to give me what I want and what I need. They won't. Confusion, the star. So somebody wants to heal a situation with you. 
Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. I see fire in um, my Aquarius here. And I also see earth here. A king of pentacles is about to go through this tower moment. Or it's a queen of pentacles that's in her masculine energy. Very guarded because there are lies here. And they feel neglected. So this has them guarded and defensive. So they're going to show up more masculine. If it's a female. So we have this star card here. Um, healing. Somebody wants to heal the confusion. But they've been guarded. Or somebody else is guarded toward the other person. We have the five of swords here. Somebody feels very defeated. All right. When it comes to these offers, somebody page of cups wants to apologize to somebody, um, but they feel defeated. They feel like they can't apologize. It's like somebody here is telling somebody, I'm sorry, but I just can't do it no more. Somebody here wants to apologize to somebody, but they feel so hurt and betrayed. It's like, how can I apologize when I still feel so hurt? This person is not letting go, though. Somebody feels like you tangled them up in the web, Virgo. And for you, you could feel, for some of you, you feel like this person tangled you up in a web. You could be, we could be dealing with two Virgos here. Show me the page of cups. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize and move forward. But somebody here, the ulterior motive, the hidden agenda is to get you to work with them while they deal with somebody else. They've been longing for you for a very long time, and they do want you to be open to receive them. For some of you guys, you're hoping that this still will work out, but to be honest with you, it will not. Not until they're fully single and out of this situation, and they're not going to leave their family. I see somebody trying to be strong here and ignore this person. So I got to give you credit where credit is due. You're being strong here trying to ignore this person. For some of my Virgos, it is you that won't let this person go and you're going toward them and they're trying to be strong and ignore you because they made a decision to try to do right by their family. Take it how it resonates and talk to me in the comments, baby. But, but both of these energies are here. Now we got the ending and then a fresh new beginning, a motivated start. Somebody is saying you're too flighty. Look, heart, here's the heartbreak. So it is two Virgos here or two earth signs here. So somebody, the queen is heartbroken. The king is wanting to apologize and wanting to come toward them. Somebody made a judgment. The king got made a judgment on or the king made a judgment on the queen. What is this? Flighty energy. So it's a king of pentacles that's saying the queen of pentacles is flighty. All right. Whoever this is. This is what I'm seeing here. Or the queen of pentacles is heartbroken because they had to close this cycle and make a judgment on the king of pentacles for lying. Y'all tell me in the comments how it is, but I see both. Show me third eye chakra. Somebody is really crying here, feeling really sad, finding out that they're the other woman. And a new beginning here. What's the fool? Ooh. Hold on. Drop the card. Yeah. See? They're coming back. They're coming back towards you. They don't care if they're with somebody or not. You're tired of them coming, bringing you this casting over energy, knowing they fine, knowing they look good, knowing they got somebody at home. You're just like, I can't do it. Somebody's going to want you to reconsider talking to them. But you're using, they're going to, look. The sword of truth and the ten of swords. It's like you're cutting them off because they betrayed you. Somebody is not going to go for it. Somebody's deciding to be single, stay single, and worry and focus on themselves. You're not doing it. I'm so proud of you. Somebody is trusting spirit. Somebody could be in a marriage too. But when it comes to a higher level of commitment, you're like, I want an equal give and take. Instead, you're sneaking around giving to other people, lying about it. Somebody is like, you're done. You are done. Look at this. Now they're calling you, wanting to come towards you, wanting to rush in. Somebody said, nope, no, thank you. King of Swords energy, cold, calculated, and strategic. Being honest about the situation and once and for all saying, no, it's just not going to work. Somebody is trusting God to bring them in exactly what they deserve and what they need. I'm proud of you, Virgo. Good. Hopefully that's what you're doing and you finally put this to rest. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you so we can close your reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. Walk in stillness. There is no choice to make right now. Just be still. You don't always need to join in or jump into action. Just let it be. Let it flow. Okay. 
Thank you guys for being here with me. If you want to book your reading, book it at closer the number to my destiny.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And I will see you on our next video. Bye, my lovies.